this time, and we bid you greetings, and thank you very much for the opportunity of this interaction today. I am Adronus of Sirius, sending love, appreciation, and gratitude to all who are tuning in to this particular broadcast being brought forward through your internet collective consciousness. What we would like each and every single one of you to do at this time is simply allow yourselves to get relaxed, get comfortable, and tune in to the vibrations of Sirius, so that you may synchronize, harmonize, and align to all the information that we have to share also understanding that all of the information that we shall provide this evening of your time to when this time is appropriate in this moment is simply that of our perspective, our point of view. For all knowledge, all information, all creation itself resides within your very heart, being, and soul. We have been asked by the conduits to share an elaboration pertaining to the idea of what you would know as the Anunnaki. What is it that the Anunnaki represent? that you have understood much of your Sumerian history pertaining to the Sumerian tablets, to where they had spoke to the idea of Anu, to the idea of the Anunnaki, and that these particular beings portray the idea of the creators of humanity. Is this so? The whole idea is that the Anunnaki in that way have been established in different rapports throughout many of your different cultures, throughout many of your ancient forms of history. The whole idea is that the Anunnaki, in regards to what you would understand, do not represent a singular race. It is more appropriate to say that the Anunnaki represent a regime, a minority pertaining to separation, division, and factional qualities representing other beings that have been part of distant ancient associations that have been fruitful throughout much of the galaxy. The Anunnaki can also be portrayed as the feeling of energies representing the word Elohim as well. The whole idea is that if you are to look at the idea of the Sumerian form of the beings that you would know as the Anunnaki, were these the creators of humanity? No, they were not. The whole idea is that they were genetic specialists. Understand that one of the very largest commodities pertaining to galactic civilizations in regards to what is often negotiated with and what holds a very high esteem of value is that of genetics. And that the whole idea of the beings that you would understand as the Anunnaki is that they were specifically brought in through a particular cosmic cyclic plan to assist in the reduction in regards to the human genome in order for these particular specialists to then bring forward their own speciality, representing the idea of the suppression of the human genome, simply because the operation of their synchronicity pertaining to their own tinkering of your genes was all part and parcel of the descendants program that represented the idea that the human race was still going through much of the fallacies pertaining to limitation, pertaining to individualism, pertaining to heavy establishments representing to self-order. And that these beings have been contracted to come through and actually permissibly be able to bring themselves together upon the earth plane and being able to work in regards to an establishment of this feeling of suppression of genetics. Basically representing the idea of what you would know as your 12-strand DNA helix to bringing it into a reduction, or what you would consider to be more of an overtonal quality. The whole idea is that there is not an absence pertaining to the 12-strand helix of DNA. It was more so in the idea of an overtoning quality, basically being able to suppress the idea of the DNA in regards to what you would consider to be a type of compression, a type of insurgence representing the certain light and sound helix that represented a feeling, an energy, that was corroborative of the frequency generation that had been apparent upon your own moon and upon your own star system. That the frequency harmonics of the idea of the suppression of your DNA, not only was it done, shall we say, through the idea of chemical intervention, but it was also done through the idea of frequency. Frequency vibrational complexes that represented certain technologies existing upon your moon that represented a harmonized gateway throughout your entire star system. The Anunnaki primarily were responsible for the idea of bringing this all together. Now again, we were referring to the Sumerian versions of the Anunnaki. 
and that much in regards to their history is that these particular beings that the Sumerians had described were indeed what you would refer to in actuality as human-reptilian hybrids. And basically that they came through and performed these particular forms of, shall we say, genetic enhancements, as it were, or in your own case, genetic descendants throughout yourself to descend the idea of the purity of the human genome. Now, their own particular genetic work that they performed upon planet Earth allowed them to sustain a particular form of valuable genetic information in regards to the human race. Their own particular agenda and their own particular means was to utilize the purity of the human genome in regards to their own particular agendas. And that is particularly what they represented. Their particular energies in that way, particularly, as it were. So the Anunnaki, pertaining to that idea, yes, did have certain forms of agendas, but not something that you would understand as without permission or a violation in that way. They had permissible qualities in regards to that which fit the retrospect pertaining to where humanity was attempting to take itself at that time, bringing itself more into a descendants, so that they could move more into the idea of, shall we say, starting from scratch beginning a master reset and bringing themselves together to where they were working through themselves to bring them forward into a higher state of ascendance. That is the primary idea representing the idea of the Anunnaki. Now the Anunnaki themselves pertaining to much of the factions that represent the ancients have spread themselves out through many different, shall we say, areas pertained to your galaxy. You would understand that many of the original Anunnaki in that way, to which you would understand the name, would be based within the area of Lyra, in the constellation of Lyra, representative of the star that you would know as Vega, that there originally was what you would consider to be a white brotherhood, completely destined in that point at that time to be of service to share in regards to the genetic seed the genetic code that would allow the propagation of a multitude of different forms of subspecies to be created in regards to root races. And this is primarily what the original White Brotherhood, the original Elohim, or the original Anunnaki in that sense was all about. But because of many different, shall we say, skirmishes leading into hundreds of thousands of years of war, that the misguidance, pertaining to the original plan of the Great White Brotherhood that assisted in the procreation, that assisted in creativity, that assisted in the passion of creating that which was rooted together in different expressions of itself, became contaminated into other forms, to where there are fights simply over genetics. There are fights relating to claimancy of worlds. There are fights pertaining to that who they feel was primed to the point of divine ownership to where more of the stars became occupied under the flags, under the feelings of, shall we say, dominion, representing many of these other beings that formed other specific brotherhoods that saw themselves as the Almighty Ones. And this is, shall we say, something that has taken place a very, very, very long time ago that had scattered itself about through the galaxy, representing this intense state of factional division, that represents the Elohim, that represents the Anunnaki, or any other particular word or name that you wish to associate this together with. That the many of the brotherhoods themselves that were out in the open represented those of distortion. The idea of feeling that they were only creating in regards to a means to an end that satisfied their agendas, rather than the idea of the true love of procreation. Representing the idea of true co-creation, that harmonized in regards to the complement of the galaxy, that represented the idea of connection to all other galaxies and to the universe itself, and that there were those particular beings that decided to abuse that particular form, creating what you would know as cloned races that simply were utilized in the forms of fabrications pertaining to war, pertaining to skirmishes, pertaining to other particular phenomena that benefited their benefactors. And so the whole idea of many of these beings that you would consider to be in our loose term through the vernacular here of the Anunnaki factors or the Anunnaki factions 
therefore brought themselves into an alignment of many different races, sub-races, that had been procreated. The greys in regards to certain factions of energies that represented their genome were also manufactured and cloned in this particular way. Utilized certain forms of aspects representing them being of service to their, shall we say, superiors, as it were, those that were their benefactors, those that they considered to be their supreme gods that brought them life. So again, there has been a very strong state of miscalibration representing to the idea of the creation of sub-races in regards to clones, in regards to those that simply represented the idea of enslavement. And that such beings that operated and orchestrated these fundamental understandings in regards to distortion basically brought themselves upon your planet and simply saw the human race in regards to its extraction of descendants to be no more different than many of the other sub-races that they felt they had created. To their minds, you were a creation to them. But that is not the case. For these particular beings that represent the human-reptilian hybrid energies were not your true creators. They were simply the idea of what you would know as genetic specialists that were attracted to the point to where humanity represented the idea of its necessary descendants to which they answered the call in the appropriation to how this could be done. That in hand represents the idea of the Anunnaki. Now you may ask, well, who were the original creators of humanity? Where are they now? Are they associating here through the idea of the repopulation protocol? The answer is no. The whole idea of much of the original creators is that they have stepped out in regards to the involvement cycles, past space and time, that would represent your own involvement of your evolution. They are not present within this space and time nexus at this time. Will they return? That is really not for us to say. That is not something that is being shared in regards to the vibrations that we are able to access. But the whole idea is that during the time in regards to where humanity was beginning to represent its downfall, these particular ancients that represented much of the creators that were responsible in regards to the master experiment of having other particular races of the 22 donate their genetics to give you life decided to leave this plane of existence simply because they felt that there is too much of an endangerment not only to themselves but to all their love creations that they decided to spawn that would be at risk should they remain in this reality and so they have been absent from your space and do not associate in any shape, way, or form representing the repopulation protocol, representing your inducement of that of consciousness expansion that is currently within our state of awareness. There are those who in that sense can communicate with them, but they still represent an observational capacity. They are not working in any particular form of involvement that would represent the expansion of yourselves. Now, we have understood that we have brought forward a previous intelligence representing the energy known as D. Now understand that this particular energy is a representation of the energy that represents one of the original creators. But simply looking from afar, simply existing into a point beyond space and time that can only be understanding that this is a projection from the echo of the darkness, representing the idea that they cannot yet step into the light representing the state of involvement and representing the idea of being of assistance to you in some way. Yet their love will always echo eternally. They do represent that of what you would consider to be the consortium of the God complex. We thank you very much for the opportunity of this interaction today. I am Adronis of Sirius, sending love, appreciation, and gratitude to all of you. Thank you very much. Farewell for this timing, and we now return to the conduit. We will speak to you again in the infinite moment of now. Goodbye. Thank you.